Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my brand new playlist and this playlist I'm going to talk a little different aspect which is all about microservices. So I have already discussed a lot about microservice, microservice pattern, event driven design, CQRS and all these things. Now our main focus in my next few playlists will be the microservice orchestration and microservice workflow automation. Okay, so when you move to the microservice world, you always face a lot of different set of challenges. Okay, we'll talk about these some set of challenges and how we can overcome to those set of challenges with the help of maybe a BPMN, maybe a workflow automation tool or something like that. Okay, so this playlist will talk about uh, the microservice integration, the common pitfalls, okay, what all problems we may face while doing the microservice integration. We are not in the monolith world now where we are actually writing a single module, all services, single database. We already, I mean, went ahead of this and now we are writing microservices. But it doesn't mean that you are writing microservice, your solution is full proof, business is up and running 24-7, no any issues happening, right? So we are writing a code and we are writing a software system. So there is always a chance of a failure, right? It's not like failure will never happen. Failure will happen, but how we overcome from that failure, that is important. And, and in the microservice world, you need to tackle this properly because this is not a single service. These are like many services, like if we are talking about simple flight center application where you can, where user will see the web UI, can do the check-in, can add, can do the booking, can do the check-in and can onboard the flight, right? So all are happening through the same web console, which the flight operators are running, the end user is running, and it is using different microservices, payment, booking, reservations, upload, check-in, authentication, CRM, all these different microservices. So. First of all, microservice, the logic of microservice is that it should be a single independent service doing things by itself without doing too much coupling with any other external service. Authentication is a single independent service. It has nothing to do with the booking and a check-in system, right? User will do the authentication, the job of the authentication service is done. Now the check-in service. So here, what we will do is, what are the common issues while we do the integration of these microservices? Microservice uh, communication can happen either through simple HTTP protocol, maybe a REST or GraphQL, you may be talking through the gRPC, or there is asynchronous communication where you are sending something to the event queues using EMQP protocol, there is some subscriber who is listening to this. All different kind of communication can happen between two services. These are like two H2 services. Uh, I mean, in the, the earlier world, we used to do it with the RMI, GMS. I mean, GMS is still latest, Java Messaging Services, RMI, uh, remote method invocation, but now it's all about uh, REST microservice communication. You are building microservices, communicating with the REST, maybe in the request reply manner or in the fire and forget manner, because there are all different options are available in the microservice communication. Now, what we will do is we'll talk about common problems which may face with this simple example okay so we are writing these set of microservices here is our end user he is trying to do the check-in let's say he already booked a ticket now tomorrow i mean after five hours he is going to onboard his flight and he is doing a check-in and he sees internal server error or the the web ui when doing a check-in throws an error or you can see a message okay we are sorry there is a technical error we cannot process your request, please try again. This is what we show on the UI, right? So what went wrong in this particular approach? Your UI is up and running, your, you are able to log in with your mobile number or whatever the details, we are able to fetch your booking details, right? So that you can actually do the check-in. But when you are actually going for the check-in, it says, okay, there is some error occurred, right? Why? Because the check-in microservice is not helping you that is throwing some error, indirectly we are showing this message. Maybe check-in is using barcode generator or some other service which is failing, okay? So, I mean, whenever there is a, the failure happens in a particular microservice, there is always a automatic retry or after a microservice, if you are using, 
these orchestrator like you are using kubernetes containers or using the service mesh or the circuit breaker pattern and all these things you that will be able to you will be able to resolve you will be able to see the resolved issue just in a within a second because if that service is down container will die container will recreate and you'll be able to see the service up and running if it is not any technical logical error you'll be able to see the service up and running but let's say you are not using any kind of orchestrator even if you are using orchestrator there is some error occurred which is due to some dependency on some external service let's say the barcode service that is down to due to some uh, external third party right so what will happen in this particular state we are not persisting the state whenever the user will retry we are keep throwing okay some error occurred and you should retry again right so this is like a failing fast mechanism the the service is failing services is trying to recover but in some particular case the service will not be able to heal itself okay and you it requires the manual intervention okay in that case service is down you can't do anything you have to retry tomorrow and you can't generate you can do check in today your flight is today right you will see keep seeing that uh, internal service error occurred and something like that message okay uh, even if you retry and maybe this particular failure will increase its scope and it also become a cause of failure to another services right so that is a possibility i mean the scope of this failure can encapsulate the other services also right but how what is the preliminary uh, investigation and how we can fix it we can actually persist the state okay uh, this was the user and the check-in was failing for this particular user okay we will give a retry mechanism for us we will actually just write a table we'll write a scheduler okay here we will just write a simple scheduler we'll say is okay do the retry it will do the retry for n number of times after a particular uh, time interval okay it will keep retrying this logic and keep doing we keep sending the check-in request and if the check-in request is successful for any particular request we are done okay the retry is successful right another way is the lightweight workflow engine here so here we are going to use these workflow engine let me just talk about that so here what all things we can use so here how we can actually solve this problem there are many ways you can actually persist the error state and keep retrying based on a particular scheduler or you can introduce the workflow engine i mean there are many bpmns available uh, in the java world and also if we talk specifically we there is a kamunda there is a flowable these are the bpmn solutions which can be plugged in with your existing set of microservices and it can actually fix your problem now what this bpmn will do is this bpmn will do the stateful retry so how we actually draw this uh, i mean we have to write a workflow engine simple workflow automation saying that okay whenever there is a failure happens uh, this is the task which you need to execute these are like a flow diagrams okay and there is a retry logic which you will execute okay this is the start and this is the end and then this retry will know okay this is the current state this is the failed state and i will keep retrying okay so once the retry is successful it will generate the barcode it will send the the boarding pass to the end user right so this is uh, just a solution like kamunda is very flexible in terms of an architecture and uh, this is like a workflow engine which can be plugged in with your existing set of microservices right so what we are doing is in the check-in process when the end user is coming we actually put a workflow engine here that workflow engine will take care of a lot of things this is like uh, the barcode right and then you can have another task here which is like send i'm just putting it here send the, the checking details right send, send the boarding pass to the user so this can be a part of so this particular service can encapsulate this workflow in the workflow process workflow automation you will do the check-in it will actually go it will start this workflow process it will just generate the barcode if it is failing then it will be there will be a configurable retries and there can be a timer also okay in every 15 minutes keep doing the retry and once the barcode is generated 
it will actually go to this this particular service it will send the notification to the end user and everyone is happy right so it's not like this workflow engine will change everything for you it is still at the request and reply if you want right this will initiate this process this barcode will generate it status code 200 it will do the notification send apis maybe another service which will return the 200 so this workflow doesn't force developers to switch to asynchronous processing okay uh, in this in this example also it is going to re return this 200 status code and user will do the check-in here you will be doing the stateful retries okay uh, i mean if the barcode is failing then you will actually run the retry logic that's it so this retry logic will help us in lot of ways if there is a failure happening it will do, do the retry and these are the stateful retries because we are, you are persisting the state of this failure either through workflow engine or through some external service and then you keep doing the retry okay but when you do the asynchronous things right this is a plain synchronous thing okay but when you do the asynchronous things then it requires attention it requires some additional efforts for you okay what i'm doing is here i'm putting this is my workflow engine i'm adding right and i'm doing a stateful retry where i'm just monitoring monitoring the timeouts and failures okay so what i'm doing is i'm calling the barcode service if there is a failure okay i will wait for five more minutes and i will do the retry i will keep checking when this barcode will when this barcode will give me the success if the barcode is giving a success there can be another process once the barcode is succeeded we are going to call this and that will actually call another service another external task of this bpmn which will be able to help this help in sending the barcode uh, sending the uh, boarding pass okay so here is the picture of these workflow automation tools and workflow automation technology because because what they are doing is they are automating the the workflow automating your business workflow uh, even if you are talking about the simple shopping cart application you put an order then it actually uh, processed we are checking the inventory then it is going to the the delivery warehouse and then you are getting the notification these all are actually business workflows and we can actually automate them through these bpm and tools and kamunda is one of them only and we are going to talk about how kamunda can work with our microservices okay so what kamunda is helping us kamunda is helping us in this asynchronous nature of uh, stateful retries it is actually we can do a lot of things with these bpm and tools right because they are giving us they are doing our additional task doing retries handling the timeouts and compensating if something is failing then how can we compensate it right so and you can actually visualize all these things all the failures all the successful it's like it is managing all your state you can say i mean it's not like uh, you need kamunda for all the microservice you can actually plug the, the kamunda workflow to a particular micro simple microservice right and it can be a simple request reply flow or it can be a synchronous flow where you are using these uh, timers and all these things with the your simple uh, orchestration okay so this is my simple microservice and i'm just using this workflow automation tool bpmn which will take care of all the retries timeouts whatever is happening right in my system so what is the conclusion here so i mean these are the common pitfalls when we talk about microservices uh, and it is basically while integration is happening right one service is talking to another service another service is failure and all these things so it is actually introducing all the capabilities to handle these situation with a stateful pattern like retries timeouts right uh, compensating the activities to reduce the overall complexity okay it's all about the failure handling right reducing the the efforts which is needed for the failure right uh, because it is simplifying the the scope of the simple services and handling out the failures in really nice and cleaner way right and it is improving the the client experience also that is the overall which we need right and we can use the the lightweight workflow engine like kamunda which is allows us to use these stateful patterns without investing a lot of efforts in other complexity of solutions you can actually plug it in with a simple microservice 
or you can actually implement a whole set of microservice pattern. So we are going in deep and we are going to talk about microservice with the workflow engines and particularly Kamunda. Maybe I have sp spoken a lot, but it, this playlist is going to be helpful. I may be covering the, uh, the, the workflow engine, BPMN, uh, Kamunda, uh, all the task list, uh, how to write the Kamunda workflow diagram, how to integrate the microservices with these uh, Kamunda workflow, in workflow diagrams, all these things we are going to take a look. Uh, thanks everyone.